The federal government is this week expected to announce the successful tender as to its job network, the agencies who compete to find jobs for the nation's unemployed people. It's believed that several major contracts have been won by foreign-owned multinational job agencies. For more, Andrew Southcott is the opposition's employment participation spokesman and he joins us now from Adelaide. Andrew Southcott, good morning. From what you can morning, work Joe. out, how many jobs are likely to go as a result of this review? Um, well, from, from what I've heard from job network providers, it will be at least a thousand jobs. We'll get more of an idea when the uh, successful tenderers are announced, possibly today. So how does this gel with the government's commitment to protect jobs? We've always said they need to be concentrating on jobs, but actually uh, the very people who've been putting their life and soul into getting jobless people into jobs, uh, many of them will be joining the dole queues themselves. Are you saying that international companies should not have been considered as part of this process? Um, not at all. In fact, we, we were the ones who pioneered this, the contracting out of employment services. And Job Network was enormously successful, much more successful than the old Commonwealth Employment Service. Uh, placed three times as many people at one third of the cost over the last ten years. And it was really, no one else around the world had done anything like this. And now you're seeing uh, the United Kingdom and a lot of other countries very interested. But what, what I'm more interested in is seeing um, who gets the jobs today and whether there are any providers um, who were getting four stars or five stars, which is one of the best ratings you can get, who've missed out on work. So should there, the workers who face the sack as a result of this be guaranteed that they will be considered first off for the companies that win the contracts? Um, look, I wouldn't be prescriptive about it. I've seen that the Australian Services Union has called um, for that. Um, but I think there are a number of problems here. Firstly, there is a problem with the model. Um, the government have designed a model for a time of full employment, and I've got some serious questions about whether their model will be sustainable. Um, there were some problems with the design of the tender as well, in that I don't think past performance has been taken into account enough. And uh, the third problem is they have contracted out 100% of employment services. And this will be enormously disruptive because the people who lose work uh, will be winding down over the next three months and the people who are starting up on the 1st of July will take some time before they've formed the networks to get people into jobs. And all this is coming at a time when at least 300,000 more Australians will be unemployed over the next 15 months. So should a decision on this be delayed until an audit is done on the impact of it? Um, look, I think the government, this is, it, it's really too far down the track for this. Um, this tender was, uh, was, the process was begun last May, and now this is the culmination. But for the reasons that I've nominated, a problem with the model, a problem with the tender, and contracting out of 100% of employment services, I think we do face a looming disaster in employment services in that uh, I'm not sure that this model will be sustainable or whether it will actually work in a period when we expect the unemployment rate to be at least 7% by the end of the first year of operation. Well, we'll see what that decision is later on today. Andrew Southcott in Adelaide, thanks for talking to us this morning. Thank you very much, Joe.